Hello stormwater designers, welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions instructional videos. This one we're starting a new series called Hydrology 101. We're going to go through everything in water resources engineering and hydrology and help you gain a better understanding of these fields and uh, what we do in terms of stormwater design and uh, hydrology to make the world a better place and help you with uh, your projects. It's really real quick on Clear Creek Solutions. It was founded in 2005 by Joe Brasher and Doug Byerline. Clear Creek Solutions does software development hydrology solutions, and stormwater modeling for various projects. There's over 60 plus years of experience between the senior members. Clear Creek Solutions developed WWHM 2012 for the counties of Western Washington, as well as numerous software packages for states along the West Coast and across the country. And WWHM is a continuous simulation hydrology model to help you accurately model your facilities. Anyways, let's get into it. What is hydrology? Well, hydrology is the study of the movement, distribution, and management of water. So it's going to include uh, all those fields. This often includes the water cycle, the hydrologic cycle, and environmental watershed study. Water management today presents great challenges as 33% of the world does not have access to a clean water supply, especially as the population of the world continues to increase access to that clean water supply is going to be very crucial. It's going to be very critical. We want to make sure we can get clean water to everyone, have stormwater mitigation methods that keeps everyone safe, keeps economic damage um, from occurring, and uh, just overall makes the world a better place. That's kind of the idea of water resources engineering. But clean water supply and environmental engineering, ensuring that that water is filtered correctly and safe for the general population is a big deal with 33% lacking that access. Um, this field is only growing and getting more important. So some of the priorities of water management include making sure everyone has access to that clean water supply, overall water quality, also making sure that there's not too many erosion in our streams. So if we have too much runoff from a site, there's too much erosion because erosion does occur in natural streams. If there's too much, then it's going to start to erode, get in our streams and reduce the water quality of our streams. And we don't want that to happen. Stormwater mitigation, making sure when it does rain, when it does run off from these various project sites, that it goes to the right places, that it's treated, it goes to detention facilities, and it's stored correctly and managed correctly. Water conservation in some areas, especially that do not get lots of rainfall, making sure they have access and they can serve that clean water so when they get the rain maybe during the winter months, um, they're able to conserve that water and then use it all through the summer. So that's going to be really important. And then, of course, stormwater facilities design, such as retention ponds, bioretention, and um, various facilities like that, making sure we properly design those facilities uh, for the future for stormwater mitigation. So let's talk about the hydrologic cycle. You're probably very, very familiar with the water cycle, um, but the hydrologic cycle is a little more nuanced, but very similar. We're going to get into it, but basically rain is going to fall um, on a site or on an area. What happens to that water? Well, it's going to infiltrate. It's going to run off the surface. It's going to evaporate into the atmosphere, right? So this is going to give us a good idea of the hydrologic cycle. So we have precipitation. Some of that is going to intercept into uh, the tree leaves and the actual uh, natural occurring plants in the area. Some of it's going to run off. Some of it's going to become interflow. Interflow is shallow, below ground runoff or water. And then some of that's going to become groundwater, real deep uh, groundwater in the surface. Some of that water will eventually evaporate back into the atmosphere. And then when it evaporates off these plants where this water was intercepted, that's called evapotranspiration. And if you look on the far right here, that's what's called surface runoff. The water will just run off straight from the surface. If the soil is impervious, it's too saturated, it'll run off right into the lake here and then basically evaporate. And that is the hydrologic cycle. Our key is hydrologists, water resources engineers is to track all that water through the hydrologic cycle and make the best use of it. Make sure the amount that needs to be returned to nature is returned to nature to continue the cycle, the amount that we need to use for other methods such as drinking water and for industry, and the amount that needs to get treated uh, for, for certain natural environments. So that is the hydrologic cycle. So let's talk about rainfall and precipitation. Precipitation is defined as any product of the condensation of atmospheric water vapor that falls under gravitational pull from clouds, right? So rain. Um, or I'll go over all the different types of precipitation. The main forms of precipitation include drizzling, rain, sleet, snow, ice pellets, a grupal, and hail. Precipitation occurs when a portion of the atmosphere becomes saturated with water vapor, reaching 100% relative humidity, 
is that the water condenses and precipitates or falls. So here's some of the different rainfall and precipitation types that are often identified in hydrology and water resources engineering. We have rain, ice, hail, and snow. They're going to act slightly differently. So just to give you an idea, I'm sure you've all seen these type of weather forms, but it's important to point out pictures. We got rain, we have ice, we have hail, and then we have snow, and they all occur under different weather conditions. So what happens to that water when it rains on, let's say it just rains on the ground? Well, that precipitation is either going to evaporate back into the soil but or evaporate back into the atmosphere. A lot of time it's going to infiltrate into the soil, into different soil zones, or infiltrate all the way down to the water table. The saturated zone is below the water table, and that's going to be the natural occurring groundwater between the capillary fringe. So where's that water going after it rains or precipitates? That's really important. We're going to study a lot of that when it comes to water resources engineering and hydrology. As rain falls on land use area, water will infiltrate into the soil. The amount of infiltration will depend on the pre-existing soil conditions, soil type, and the different saturation factors. Is the soil already saturated? Well, it's not going to then infiltrate into the soil because it was already saturated. Um, what were the conditions like? What kind of soil is it? Is it till? Is it outwash soil? This is going to play a big part. The rest of the water will run off to other downstream locations or pond on top of the soil. So it's either just going to pond up because it's saturated or it will eventually run off to a different location. So there's two main ways to measure runoff from a site location when it comes to hydrologic engineering. This continuous simulation uh, modeling, which we have a video on, and single event method, which we also have a video on comparing the two. So when it comes to stormwater modeling, there's two main, main ways to measure it and to make sure to track all of that water. So this is the sources we used. And if you want to learn more about hydrology, the different kinds, the different kinds that are used in the industry, just download the Ultimate Hydrology Guide down below. It's a free guide. Click it there. You can download it for free to over overview the different kinds of hydrology. But that was video one, lesson one. Wait for part two of the series where we go more into the basics of water resources engineering. And we'll see you guys next time.